Hey, time for devotions from history again. Today is March 12th, and that marks the anniversary of the founding of the Girl Scouts of America. In 1912, Julia Gordon Lowe had been living in England, where she made the acquaintance of Sir Robert Baden Powell, the founder of the Boy Scout movement. And she met with him and his sister, and they talked about the need for such a thing for girls. Well, Sir Robert thought it was a great idea and started some organizations in the United Kingdom for young girls. But Mrs. Lowe felt that there was a need in her home country of the United States. So she came back home to Savannah, Georgia, called a friend up and said, I have got something for you to help me with. And that night, March 12th of 1912, they called in 18 neighborhood girls and started their first club meeting. And what a club it has turned out to be. All these years later, 3.4 approximate Girl Scouts in the United States and over 50 million alumni. All started by a 52-year-old woman who felt the need to pour herself into the young girls of her community and give them some more education about the availability of what could be done with their lives. Wow, what an idea! But you know that idea did not originate with Juliet Lowe. It actually was an idea that the Apostle Paul had when he instructed Titus, a young pastor, in chapter 2 of the book that he wrote to him. And he said to him this, that the older women should teach the younger women. Now imagine that. You know, so many times we want to just surround ourselves with people who are just like us. Our own age, our own likes, our own dislikes. But according to Paul, we need people of a different generation involved in our lives. You know, a lot of times in the society in which we live, we take people who get a little older and we tell them that life is done for them, they don't have much to do, why don't you just move down to Florida, get an apartment, and enjoy your life. Well, Paul's got some different ideas. He says, find a younger woman and take her in and teach her the things that she needs to know to be a godly woman. You know, on the converse, older women can't teach younger women if younger women aren't willing to learn. So as younger women, we need to be on the lookout ourselves for an older woman who might be able to teach us something. Now as for me, I'm in my 40s now, which puts me kind of in the middle. So I have some younger women that I meet with every Friday night. They're just starting into parenting and we do a study together and talk about what it's like to be a young mom. But I'm also at the end of some of the parenting years with an 18 year old headed out this summer. And so I have some older women that I call up every once in a while and say, hey, I need some advice. So today on March 12th, the day that marks the founding of the Girl Scout organization, why not think about looking for someone either to teach or someone to teach you. And while you're doing that, might not be a bad idea to look around the neighborhood and see if you can't find a Girl Scout because they're selling cookies right now and they're really pretty good. So, March 12th, you need to find Jim Mender, somebody to talk to, or find somebody that you need to talk to, and grab a couple cookies while you're out too. Have a great day.